Take your dealership to the next level with over 6,800 on-air interviews with dealer and industry leaders. CBT News, dealer's most trusted source for news, content, and analysis. Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good Thursday morning to you. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for tuning in to CBT News. Let's get you started. Honda is making a monumental move in the EV arena, doubling its investment to $64 billion by 2030. The company plans to slash production costs, bringing manufacturing in-house and accelerate the rollout of seven new EV models by the end of the decade. Honda CEO outlined the ambitious strategy, revealing that the lineup, dubbed the Zero Series, will kick off with three models in 2026, focusing on North America and emphasizing crossovers. This massive investment reflects Honda's commitment to profitable EV production, aiming for a 5% return on sales with an annual volume of 2 million EVs globally. To achieve this, Honda is revamping its production system, adopting technologies like gigacasting for battery cases, and planning to manufacture batteries with partners before bringing production in-house for a competitive edge. Kia is currently offering substantial discounts of up to $12,000 on its 2024 EV6 and EV9 models in order to clear inventory and make way for new models. The automaker's EV6 offers stackable discounts saving customers up to $12,800 on select models with additional incentives for buyers and leasers. Similarly, the EV9 is also eligible for a significant savings of up to $12,400 off the MSRP. These offers demonstrate Kia's dedication and strategic shift towards electrification, solidifying its position in the ever-changing EV market. Hyundai Motor Company's global vehicle sales in April 2024 dipped 3.3% year-over-year, totaling 345,840 units, signaling a challenging first half. The company's plug-in sales continue to slide for the sixth consecutive month, with wholesale shipments of Hyundai and Genesis plug-in cars down 24% year-over-year. Notably, the all-electric car segment saw a 27% decrease in wholesale volume, reflecting a broader trend of EV slowdown for the manufacturer. However, during April, Honda's EV sales surged in the U.S. market, showcasing mixed performance across different regions. While models like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kiona Electric remain strong contenders, Genesis electrification efforts face setbacks with all three of its models experiencing declines in sales. Used vehicle sales dropped in April, falling 7% from March, according to V-Auto Live Market View data estimates. Despite this decline, the industry saw a 4.8% year-over-year increase, with 1.45 million used vehicles sold at retail. Cox Automotive's Jeremy Robb noted that the slowdown in sales is typical post-tax refund season, compounded by higher interest rates impacting consumer decisions. Although prices were slightly lower than last year, certified pre-owned vehicles also declined in April, down 2.5% from April 2023, signaling ongoing fluctuations in the used vehicle market. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with Brooke Furness, the founder of BZ Consultants Group, to share expert tips for creating unparalleled experiences in the automotive industry. Take your dealership to the next level with over 6,800 on-air interviews with dealer and industry leaders. CBT News, dealer's most trusted source for news, content, and analysis. You often say inspect what you expect. What do you mean by that? Oh, man. Well, I think before we go there is we all claim to have the Amazon experience, but then going to the inspect what you expect is that we really have the Amazon experience. We love to throw that term around, and I know we'll get into this, but looking at it saying, wait, but my customer is shopping here and we're sinking all this money into advertising and to acquire the customer. What about retaining the customer? That's a little bit more important. When you start to look at the stats of how loyal customers are five times more likely to repurchase, they're five times more likely to forgive and four times more likely to refer. And you take that a step further, seven times as likely to try a new offer or some type of offering. So we look at that and inspect what you expect. There's all, there's more data than we know what to do with today. And yes, have that. But 
Also understand how important it is to look at your process and how the consumer is viewing your product and the journey. And you can watch this full interview right here at cbtnews.com. Well, that does it for our show today, but do join us right back here tomorrow morning on cbtnews.com. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.